have returned. Frosty Tools there taking some some liberty uh, <laughs> to to make the rhyme work, I guess. Are, are we prancing? I don't know. Uh, so let's let's fix another bug. Unload the video does not appear, nor do the controls appear to play yet. Why is that? How does that how does that happen? So if I refresh this, yeah, nothing appears here. Which is really weird because like the controls are a um like my components, right? It's the video here that is you know, I could it could make sense that it's blank or whatever. But why don't the controls appear? Well let's see. Um so we have a component video player that we forward ref. Uh, we forward ref on to provide a seek to. So the the component that uses this component. Can we go to references? Nope. That doesn't work. Okay. Uh, where where in the component hierarchy? You know what's what's good is that we can go in here and I have the React Dev Tools installed, so I can just look. There's Video Player. Um, so here's Video Player, and then that's part of Viewport. Okay, so in Viewport, how do you work? So we have um, a Viewport. Oh, and it just takes video player as a prop, right? So let's go back up to the what? <laughs> not to sidebar, not to context provider. That's just context timeline provider. I have a timeline provider. How does this work? I don't, I don't know. Is it an app? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Right, 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 okay. So how I ended up structuring this, it's coming back to me now, right? What I wanted to do is I wanted to make this so that a lot of the composition of the components that make up this UI uh, are owned kind of at the top level, right? So that I can compose them together, right? So I can say this chat history that's part of the viewport, viewport's not the best word for this, maybe. It's still so like the, 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 the video reviewer. Um, yeah, maybe that's better. Than it. Anyway, we have a video player, we have chat history, we have a timeline, we have a transcript. Uh, so we can plug in these components and swap them out, right? By just passing in different things here. So video player, we we get that ref, right? So we have a, a use ref here. So we have a video player ref. And, oh, that's really cool. I've, so if I press one, does that do anything? It doesn't seem to. It should seek to zero. I guess that doesn't do anything. Interesting. Uh, I was thinking about like, it will be very important to have keyboard shortcuts that kind of like streamline using this UI. So that, that was something I did build two months ago. <laughs> Uh, time flies. Okay, so how does this work? The video URL. Have uh, on on time update. We set playhead time. So that's a uh, a use state here. Starts at zero. That makes sense. So let's see this. Let's look at the components here. Let's look at the viewport. Video player controls. So in video player controls, video is null. That's kind of weird. Why is video null in video player controls? Huh. We 
have something in the console. Not filtering. No, okay. Weird. What does, um... children so it's got some react element and then video is null so video player uh it's so hard to read blue on my uh dark background uh hey uh how do i say your name senorita maybe <laughs> let me know uh i was doing projects with next.js TypeScript, but something really bad happened to me Gone to a uh, big depression, lost uh, a year and a half. I'm sorry to hear that. I was studying computer science at university, still studying though. When I was 18, everything was good. Now I'm 20, I lost all my motivation, did nothing last a year and a half, and it hurts a lot. Uh, I feel like I'm too late anymore. I, I can appreciate that feeling. I think it's not too late. Um, I, thinking back to when I was 18, I spent some time in the army. Uh, I was not doing anything code related after, you know, doing a lot of like learning and hobbyist stuff as a teen, uh, in code. And, um, yeah, it took actually a number of years to kind of get back um, into coding as well. Um, it's something that yeah, I'm I would, I would, I seriously doubt that's too late. AI is too improved and feel bad for your future. I mean, I think there, there's a gap, right? Between what AI can do. Like I'm, I'm using uh, GitHub Copilot here. So like as a fancy autocomplete and it can do some really amazing things. I think it's really challenging to, um, The aspect today that AI can't do is the part that I felt for a long time is kind of the, the important part in software engineering is understanding the problem, analyzing possible solutions, you know, actually understanding how to solve things. Yeah, Brainless here says I didn't get to, so, uh, get to suffer until 35. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I want to say too, in my career, I've had a lot of stops and starts. I never even, uh, finished college. Like I, I never got a four year degree. Um, and you know, it's been something where I did a lot of like small time contract work, consulting things. And one had some, some, pretty bad things where, you know, I, I, I didn't do great. And I had some things where the client didn't do great. Uh, and over time, you know, I learned a lot and, and you know, I'm, uh, had a, a, a good amount of, uh, you know, fortune and success, uh, over the years. But yeah, I, I, I want to say it's never too late. I think, it's, it's challenging because it feels like if you're, if you were kind of more entry level junior, junior software engineer, that a lot of the things you do in, in terms of like the, just the churning out code and not really having a good sense of what to do, that learning, that ramp up, that takes, you know, a good number of years, right? Um, is something that one puts you in a position where, yeah, maybe AI tooling is going to do somewhat comparable work, 
in that it's going to be full of bugs. The difference is, is you're going to, you're going to be able to learn from that. Uh, if we get to the point where we have AI that can really do software engineering uh, and can really think and contextualize and reason, uh, we have bigger issues than uh, worrying about who's employed because, you know, it's, it's going to be a very different world. Um, I am in some ways hopeful of that. I think that'll be interesting, but I think it's, it's hard to speculate without standing, sounding like sci-fi. <laughs> um, are things going, is the future going to look like the past? Or is it going to not resemble it or somewhere in between? Who could say? Yeah. Yes. Second, the very appealing responses, which are not always correct. And that's that's just like <laughs> I mean, people can can give very appealing responses which are not always correct too, but um, that's a different kind of problem. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, so I think I was trying to figure out what I had done, what, what my self from two years ago had done to make this not work correctly. Um, so in video player, we are passing, ah, video ref current. Apparently is null, uh, at least some of the time, at least initially, for some reason. Yeah, you're very welcome. Um, I would say, you know, the motivation is hard. For me, programming is something that is, 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 I know it's satisfying, so I'm willing to, you know, even, you know, I'm, I'm not getting paid to like work on this, this coding project, right? It's just something I want to do. It's fun to do. Um, it's rewarding in and of itself uh, to solve problems and to get that that satisfaction when, when a problem is, is well solved. Um, and that's a motivation for me that I'm, I know I can get the result because I've put in the time to, you know, get there. Um, in, in a couple of different contexts and that that motivates me but yeah if you can find the motivation I would say it's never too late so what's supposed to happen here is that we have a video element and video ref should be populated with uh, a handle a ref uh, well, video ref is a ref, but it should video ref that current should refer to this video element. So why doesn't it? It's initially null. Am I supposed to be maybe I'm doing using use imperative handle wrong here somewhere? That's the only hook that I'm using, right? Other than use ref is uh, use imperative handle. Uh -huh. Yeah. I love comments like this, right? As always, thing should be avoided in most cases. Well, here, here is, I think, a legitimate case of using use imperative handle, right? We want to expose the seek to method to the parent context so it can interact with the video. And I think that's legitimate. So the, the last argument to use imperative handle here um, is the dependency list is, okay, ref is the forwarded ref. Do I need to have video ref here in the dependency list? I might have to go look at the docs if not. Um, okay, well that didn't fix it, so <laughs> maybe, maybe not. 
Let's go look at the docks for use imperative handle. Dependencies. The list of all reactive values referenced inside of the create handle code. Props, state, and all the variables and functions declared directly inside of your component body. Da, 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 da. Compare each dependency with its previous value. But bonus says your code looks super clean whenever I get some complex logics to achieve my <laughs> code fucks up. Uh, I mean, it's all right. I, I, I'm, I have a dearth of like comments explaining kind of the purpose of things here. This, uh, Depths. I'm not sure if this should be like this or not, but it doesn't seem to matter. It doesn't fix the issue. So why is video ref current null here? Uh, is the question. Is... Okay, let's look at video player controls. The video player controls as a component takes a video and has a bunch of use effects. Oh, I see. If if the, the video is null, it returns it, or if it's falsy, it returns null. Um, do I want to do that? Does that make sense? Is that necessary? Right. So if I just get rid of this check, do we have any type issues? I don't think so, right? Because everything else is guarded. Anything that uses video checks to see if video is present. Uh, thanks to Pavonis for the, the compliment. Uh, <laughs> I should I should say that. Uh, it's appreciated. Um, I think there's always room for improvement, right? And opportunities to like consider, you know, how things could be better. And whether that Like with anything that takes time to do, right? There's a trade-off of what I want to focus on more or less. Um, and what is the cost of that going to be? So if I refresh now, we should at least have the controls. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure why I'm getting this error now. Video div select option. Speed must be. It's really odd. Speed should be one, so this should be selected. What's it complaining about? Use the default value or value props on select instead of select setting selected on off. Oh. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. See if that works. It's not related to the bug at all, but uh, you know, while I'm here, I can address a warning. Uh, Pomona says, "True. Recently, I got something uh, basically stupid and something also weird uh, to touch and not break. I had no choice to go with the uh, maybe GPT. Oh, my guy, GPT might help." As in, was this code from GPT? Or you're saying you couldn't figure out what it was doing and doing anything like trying to make any change to it would break it. And so maybe see if GPT would help. Okay, 
Does that make the warning go away? It's not gonna fix our issue. Yeah, that made the warning go away. Um, oh, right, and the warning uh, appeared. Um, it must have appeared before when I, you know, because before I was able to get the video to work by just clicking somewhere else in the timeline, right? Um, but, so the warning must have been appearing before and I just didn't notice. Uh, and we have our speed drop down. So this is work. If I hit play, then I go to 25x. Yes, I have a 25x uh, play speed <laughs> on this. We're gonna go, all right, pause. Okay. So. Um, I guess that sort of fixed the issue. I guess the thing is, is that there must be something where, um, the video ref is null until the video play. That doesn't make any sense. Like, yes, initially video ref is null, but like when this renders, video ref should be populated with the uh, component instance. So what happened? Play is only allowed when approved by user, the site isn't activated by the user, or media is muted. Uh, yeah, there you go. So if I do that, there we go. Do I want autoplay on? No. Yeah, that's fine. Um, This is, this is fine, except this doesn't work. Interesting. Right, because video is probably not. this works is because when I click the timeline it is calling seek to through the the handle and it says if video ref dot current the video ref current current time stamp or current time is this right um, which has been working the whole time When I click the play button, I'm clicking, you know, something inside of the video player controls that uses video video ref current. Should I be passing video ref? They have a lot of hooks here that are dependent on video, right? So that when video changes, um, yeah, so that we can use video here. Basically to sync the state, in the internal state of this component with the attributes on the video component. Uh, 
Why? Why? Let's, uh, let's add some, let's see, do I want to add console log or maybe just like use the debug? I'll, I'll just add some console logs. Uh, and then what I want to capture here is video ref. And video ref current. Uh, if it exists. No, that's not how you do that. Oh, right. I guess this would have to be... Uh, I mean, I can do that. Video ref is always going to be defined. It just may be the current is... What else is inside a video ref? Just current. Yeah, okay. Okay, so... Let's refresh. So we can see, here's the initial render, right? A video player. Video ref exists, but current is null. But at the time that I expanded, the object video ref does have current. So between the time when the render happened and when the, when I expanded this, the, the, the current value of video render got uh, updated. So I think I need to do something like this, where I pass the video ref directly into the component. I don't know if that is kind of an idiomatic thing to do. Uh, should be, is it, is it ref? <laughs> that type. React that do not use or you'll be fired callback ref return values. What does it mean? What type am I using over here? A ref object? Okay. <laughs> uh, ref will be a. a Ref will be objective right. Am I not wrong? Can you expand on that? I think this is what I need to do. Uh, I think I'm. I'm thinking this will fix the issue anyway. I don't know if this is the right thing to do. It feels weird to pass the ref. Oh, you're, you're dealing with autocorrect. <laughs> hmm. Actually, instead of making all these changes, you know what I can do? There's this amazing thing where you can just like Uh, I got a new phone, haven't set it up yet. Ah, makes sense. Okay, so, uh, the issue as it stands is that I wanna be able to click the play button on the initial load, have it work, and it still doesn't. <laughs> still doesn't. Okay, um, interesting. Okay, so when we get here, uh, we're gonna do video player controls vendor, and we're gonna do. I don't. I don't care about any of those things. Uh, I want to do video ref. And I want to do video. There we go. Uh, yeah, working on the stream platform thing. Yeah, uh, sort of. I mean, this is less about. Hmm, 
This is not like a Twitch competitor that I'm making. This is not, uh, you know, uh, like a, a kick or anything like that. This is essentially the, the aim of this is to replace something I'm doing today. Uh, but making it better and throwing in some AI. So basically taking my uh, recording of my stream and using AI to like generate like highlights and points to uh, look closely at and potential transcription errors and pull in all of the data and then allow me to select uh, clips from it to make episodes for YouTube or maybe like shorts or uh, highlights or whatever um, from the streams. So right now this is kind of more of a view interface where I can review all the data. And then the goal is to then add the, then extracting information. So this is like um, the raw data plus what AI generates and I can review it. And then the goal will be to then uh, be able to select stuff to go into a project which will be another UI that I'll be building for, for this, the overall project. So the, the overall project is called, called Glowing Telegram, uh, which is over here in GitHub. And then this thing I'm working on right now, this UI is called Glowing Telegram Video Editor. Um, so. Uh, when did I last change? Oh yeah, I added some logs. Okay, so what's the story here? So video player uh, controls render. So we have it. Let me refresh. Okay. Right. Video player controls render. You can see there's a video ref and a video. So video is null because at the point in time video player controls is rendered, um, there is no video yet. So that's interesting. Um, That means we're not re-rendering when there is a video, but that also means that video isn't getting updated to refer to video.current. Um, I mean, this is just the value, right? This. Why, why aren't things reacting why aren't why aren't things reacting to uh the change to, like so like if i expand this now right the video is still null but i can see current exists inside of video ref why is that why Play. Guess this will make your life much easier. Seems like it'll take some time to get it going. Yeah, I mean it's it's something where part of this already exists. So I have in the other repo that just the Glowing Telegram repo, I have like a, a CRUD UI, and I can take the stream videos and I can submit them and have them to like transcription and stuff, but it doesn't like highlight areas or allow me to like pull out segments. Um, specifically, it does like silence detection and chunks out episodes based on that. So it's more of like a, um, a YouTube VOD archive creator at this point, rather than helping me do more edited content. And that has been the goal from the start, but it just, it takes time. And I'm only, you know, working on this for a few hours, a few hours a week. Um, so yeah, it'll get there when it gets there. Uh, and it doesn't help when I run into this thing <laughs> where, where it doesn't seem to be, uh, you know, working. It doesn't help. Um, let's do this. So, current move this to the top this is the default export right so this is this is literally the thing that we're referring to here 
for importing directly from video player controls. Okay. Yeah, it's not reacting. Exactly. That that's that's kind of a pun, right? Because it's react. <laughs> so yeah, so video ref exists, but video is null. But what should happen is what I would expect to happen is that um, when the video player component populates video ref that that would because it's a prop to video or sorry it's a prop to uh video player controls that it would cause a re-render here but it's not and it's not clear to me why maybe i should like look at this Like we can see the ref there, current video rendered by video player. Maybe there's some implication of using um, use imperative handle that's not occurring to me. Back to the docs. Uh, call it use imperative handle at the top level of your component to customize the ref handle it exposes, right? So the component that I'm creating, I'm wrapping it with the forward ref. That's how the component that uses video player is passing in a ref here. And then currently I'm taking the interior ref, the internal ref here of the video element and I'm passing it to video. I don't think that should be necessary. Like it, it should be fine do what we had before. Let's get rid of that. Um, and unwind all of this. Or we just take the video element. Oops. Yep. So that worked except for the case where initially let me refresh and so here's the situation, right? Initially, we have an unloaded video. I click play, and nothing happens. If I somehow advance this, then I click play, then it works. Because at some point it triggers a render. Inside of video player controls that updates video. Let's do here at the top. Console log. Um, this is video player controls render video. Uh, so if we go back to here, you can see it. When the render happens, it has the video object. On initial load, video is null. What should happen immediately is we should see another render where video is not null. Because there is a video element here. Uh, so why? Uh, let's try one thing. So one thing I did change at the beginning of this was I added this dependency. Let's just check to make sure this is not a bug. I just immediately introduced. No. Okay. And then if I click forward and I click play, yeah, that works. Also, let me turn off all, <laughs> turn off all of playback. Okay. So that's fine there. Uh, Pomona says imperative handle 
uh, update state bidirectional from parent to child state, right? Uh, not exactly. Uh, what it does is that combined with forward ref, the thing that is using video player, which would be, I think that's an app, right? So an app, we're constructing the video player and I can pass in this ref prop. Uh, and what will happen is that video player ref will get populated. The ref will get populated with the ref that's given by use imperative handle. Um, so we get a connection to ref here via um, forward ref. Forward ref tells React that the second argument to the component can be this ref. We pass that to use imperative handle. And so what will happen is, is this function is invoked, um, which constructs an object with a single method seek to. And so in app, video player ref will contain a current. It has that seek to method on it so that I can invoke a method inside of this component from outside. Um, so yes, in a way, actually you're right. <laughs> that it it allows you not necessarily to, I, I mean, you can call, it can do whatever, right? So we can call, in this case, we're calling C2 or passing zero or some milliseconds. So it does allow uh, kind of imperative data flow downwards um, and the C2 method, I guess, could actually return a value and you could look at it and you, you would allow kind of data flow back the other way as well. So this is just a way for me to be able to hook into the, um, the video player from the top level to do things, right? So like we have a sidebar here that once it needs a way to basically, I want to be able to seek to a place in the video by clicking like here. Right, so they'll seek to, I have off by one error, I think. Um, but yeah, it'll, it'll seek to the point in the video, even though like the, the component hierarchy is completely separate, right? Um, but it allows that communication facilitated by uh, this app component in this case. So if I look at the console though, so you can see all these places. Oh, video is populated. I think I may need to use this soon. Thanks for the explanation. Yeah, you're welcome. It's it's something that is not, they say it in the docs, right? It's something you probably should not reach to first. Um, oh, interesting. They don't say it here, but when, you, when you're in here, in a video player, and you hover over the, implement, the, the function, uh, somewhere or maybe, oh, there we go. Right. So they say, as always, imperative code using ref should avoid, should be avoided in most cases. Right. So there are other ways to facilitate just general communication or state management, uh, up to including things like Redux or other solutions. Um, This is something where a more general kind of dispatch logic, like I could be using Redux here, right? And I could be dispatching actions um, that then result in either side effects or state change. Um, but for this specific use case, since I don't really have anything else where I'm managing state yet, although that's gonna change, right? Because what we need to do fairly soon is make this so that I can edit values um, and kind of build up information and have state in this front end component. So that is going to be, uh, yeah, uh, I think so part of my hesitance of like, Oh, do I need to pass video ref here? Uh, is that I think this is the only time I've ever, ever used use imperative handle. Uh, having trouble finding the right browser tab. There we go. Can I search me? Can I search my repositories? Yeah. 
<laughs> one result. I saw it when I walk, boy. Okay. Anyway. I don't think that um, this really has to do with the, I'm, I'm my, my theory though, is this has nothing to do with the problem at hand though, um, I think, because like video ref here is just a normal ref. And let's, uh, let's do some Googling. So uh, react video element ref. Yeah, this looks familiar. Yeah, very similar. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, that's, that's normal. Um, maybe if I... I hmm. like I shouldn't need to do something like more indirect. Like the ref hook should Cause a re uh, hmm, is that true? React use ref uh, cause re render. Yeah, uh, refs don't trigger re renders when their values change. Whoops. <laughs> uh, uh huh. Use ref doesn't notify you when it's. Content changes. You see the current current property doesn't cause a re-render. If you want to run some code when React attaches or attaches a ref to a DOM node, you may want to use a callback ref instead. What is a callback ref? I'm learning things. Is this, is this what it was referring to? No. Another way to set reps is called callback reps, which gives more fine grain control. Instead of passing a ref attribute created by create ref, you pass a function. Function receives react component instance of HTML DOM elements as an argument. Ref is this that said text input ref. Interesting. Um, no, that's the wrong kind of ref. <laughs> uh, let's see. User ref is a React hook. to a custom component, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, so like, do not read, write or read ref that current during re-rendering. Read a ref during re rendering. Huh, interesting. You can read or write refs from event handlers or effects instead. So, where? Hmm. Okay. So, I think I need to change how the interface between video player and video player controls works. 
uh, which I did before, it didn't work. Try it a different way, right? So instead of passing video ref current or passing uh, video ref, I think what I need to do is I need to pass a function that gets video ref current. I'm not excited about that idea. Right, so. That's not going to work either. Is it? Yes. Yes. So the key thing here is to, like, we're not using video. Um, <laughs> we're mostly not using video in a way that influences the rendering. Um, okay, so I'm going to change some things here. So we're going to do a video. Something like that. Is this is this gonna work? Is this gonna be good? Don't know. Um, how do I want to do this? How am I interacting with video here? Get rid of that. Every, every place where we use video, it's like, is video set? And then either access, uh, you know, a member, an attribute on it, or access something that we're, that we're gonna call, right? Um, maybe I don't need to share. Yes, what I can do is I can do get video question mark. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I can't do that. Um, is this a thing now? If only. Like, set this if this <laughs> exists. It's not a thing. That's why we had all these up statements. Uh, that's unfortunate. How do I want to do this? It could just completely impact all the things I care about from from here and have them passed in separately. Although it doesn't that doesn't really help us with kind of what we're trying to solve. Uh, so. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to defer looking up video.current until, um, you know, the point in time where these callbacks are, are called. Uh, because that's the issue is that when this function is originally called, the video is, is going to be null. And it takes some other action in the UI other than the change to ref uh, for that to not be the case. Yeah. But this is going to be a lot of work <laughs> to change this in this way. Uh, so I'm going to do something else. Uh, can I? So I saw something there before, a callback ref, right? So if I did that and 
then now everything we're talking about video ref is going to be wrong. That's okay. We'll just change video ref dot current to be video. Uh, and then we have like a, um, set video. Do this? How's this gonna work? Interesting. How's this type defined? Ref attribute is a legacy ref or undefined. A legacy ref is a string or a ref T. And a ref is a ref callback or a ref object. And then some some fun types. Uh, okay, so ref is a node. Uh, so we have node. And then we can do... Uh, all right, of course. This should be video set video. Um, in which case we don't need to define that, right? It's just that. And then every place where we refer to current or video ref dot current, uh, oops, H becomes video. And then we should give a type here to this. Now, then use imperative handle is dependent on video. And we just have a bad import. Now, does this work? Or does React hate this? So let's clear everything. Uh, and if I click play, oh wow, it works. And no warnings. All right. Today I learned about callback refs. All right, I'm gonna take a break here uh, just for a couple minutes so I can go take a little walk around the house and I'll be back. And uh, I guess we fixed the issue. So uh, we'll be moving on to the next thing, maybe some features. Let's, let's commit this before we take the break. So uh, fix. Yeah, just go ahead and come in anyway. I'm not doing branches yet. All right, be back in just a few minutes uh, with uh, more things. Here we go. 